Welcome back to our channel. My name's Ardil and today we're fixing a rattle. This Defender 90 is a brand new car and honestly, these things rattle like absolute mad. So there's a few problems with the car. The main thing is obviously the rattles and lack of bass. So today we're gonna to be solving both those problems and I'm gonna be showcasing the entire journey with you. So you're gonna to get to see behind the scenes how we fix the problem and also at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna be sitting in the car listening to it and you'll be able to hear the final results of adding a sub into a Defender 90. Let's go. So what we're doing is we're playing a song just to play a bit of bass through the vehicle and find out where all the rattles are coming from. So hopefully you'll better hear this in a second. Hey. So hopefully that's coming through. So you should have heard the rather odd squeaking sounds. So what we're gonna do is remove all of these panels in the vehicle and we'll do all the soundproofing behind to then play this again later on to make sure all of those noises are gone. So the install is complete and the soundproofing is all done. I'm now going to do our famous little knock test where I'm going to knock on this door here, which has been fully acoustically soundproofed. Then I'm going to tap on here, which hasn't been. And you're going to be able to hopefully hear the difference soundproofing makes simply by knocking on the vehicle. So I'll do a couple of tests. So hopefully you, this comes across on camera. I'll put my mic a bit closer. Non-soundproofed and soundproofed. So I'm sure that's coming across well on camera. Literally a massive, massive difference. Soundproofing is so important. It reduces rattles, actually build a better environment, even for the stock system to work in, but definitely with an aftermarket set. And it's a system that is definitely overlooked by a lot of installers. We take this part very seriously and there's a massive reason for it, mostly because of what you just heard there. The acoustic deadening makes a hell of a difference, not only just in terms of getting rid of those awful, awful rattles that you get from a brand new shape Defender, but what it also does is it actually just builds a better environment, plus it reduces road noise as well. So literally, you're win-win here. Now, let's jump inside the car and have a listen to it. First of all, before we get too carried away, I'm gonna talk a little bit technical stuff about the factory Land Rover system. This is across the board on Jaguar, Land Rover, and Volvos, and quite a few other vehicles, but more heavily prominent on Jaguar Land Rover. With their factory sound systems, the screen's absolutely fantastic, lovely interior, and this has the Meridian sound system. The Meridian sound system has one major, major flaw. Basically, because they know that the vehicles rattle like absolute crazy, what they actually do is, rather than fixing it with soundproofing like we've just done and actually curing the problem, what they've actually done is, via software inside the factory radio, what they actually end up doing is for instance, we'll put a little graph up at the bottom, but as your bass, uh, as your volume increases, for instance, you expect all your frequencies to increase. That'd be your treble, that'd be your bass, everything all together to go up in a linear way. However, that's not the case on Jaguar Land Rover, especially with the Meridian system. 
Because of those rattles, what they actually do is as you turn up that volume, what happens is your bass curve actually decreases kind of around about halfway to three quarters and it starts dropping off. The reason is, is to restrict bass frequencies or lower frequencies to your mid bass drivers in the bottom of the door. In essence, to try and stop rattles. However, like our client has experienced here and we've done many times, these things rattle like absolute crazy. But not to worry, it's all been fixed. We've put 50 sheets of soundproofing across the vehicle. Plus we've added some basing with that 10 inch sub, taking the strain away from these doors. But also what we've actually managed to do is recreate that curve using a product called Audio Control LC2i. But hopefully that gives you a bit of an understanding about the fundamental flaw of sound systems on the Meridian sound system on a Jaguar Land Rover but it's now time to have a little bit of a listen to how it sounds. So I'm going to play a couple of different tracks for you guys so you can hear what it, what it sounds like. So this is all using the factory system. So that's with the sub on. And now off. And bring the sub in. And off. Back in and off and back in. So it's a lot more punchy already. So that's without and that's with. make quite a big difference there. So the, the, the front end of the rest of the car does sound better than how it came into us. Obviously with soundproofing, it does build a better environment for each part of the system, whether it's stock or factory. It does help it improve, so it does sound better then how it came in in terms of that front end, but it is still lacking a lot. It's not clear, it's not overly loud as well in here. Um, and yeah, big improvements can be made with that side of it. But just in terms of the bass level, like hearing it with and without makes such a difference. So that's with it off. And now I'm gonna turn it on. It's just that overall depth. For me, obviously this is quite a big vehicle still. It is a 90, which is the smaller of the two of the 110s. But I just find like it it brings the sound a little bit kind of more all around you. Uh, having the sub in the back there, it just gives a lot more depth of sound uh, to the system. It's not, it's not in your face. It's not overpowering at all. It's very, very smooth. It's, it's just about adding that little bit of depth to songs and just making the whole listening experience that little bit nicer but the rattles are gone there's literally no rattles now everything is now done up I and mean, we even saw when we were stripping the car down that the factory speakers were not even screwed in fully uh, it's one of those things that the, you have to have these cars checked out by companies like ourselves that know exactly how a car should go together not only for sound but just how to do the job properly it makes such a difference when you actually just put a car together and actually screw stuff in. But hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and you've seen a little bit more about how we fix the rattle issue on a Defender 90 new shape and also adding in a little bit more bass and correcting some of the problems from the factory system. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always guys, smash that subscribe button, like today's video and also Comment below about what you want to see next or what you enjoyed about today's video and what you want to see in the future from ourselves. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.